Hey, Connor here of Neversig Farm, and uh, I want to talk about fertilizing the tomatoes through the season. I try to do it once a week, but I don't really get to it once a week. And there's different ways to fertilize, and I fertilize in a few different ways. Uh, one is uh, seaweed. This is 100% seaweed, and it just comes in a powdered form. Um, I can spray it on the ground so you can take a look at what it looks like. But, uh, kind of a uh, greenish, blackish color. And you want to make sure that it's not too thick. Right, so you just want to follow the, uh, I think it's an ounce of powder per. Per gallon. You can see the color in here. You can get it already in liquid form, but it's more economical to just get the powder and uh, you know uh, it goes a long way right you just have a little ounce per gallon and you could buy a few pounds of the stuff and it will last all season if not multiple seasons and this is really great for potassium and I'm low on potassium so it's really good and you just spraying the leaves right and they'll absorb it right so that's all we're doing putting it on our back spraying the plant and uh, it's also good for magnesium iron a whole bunch of uh, uh, nutrients you know it has a little bit of nitrogen not a lot so it's not a complete nitrogen uh, fertilizer by any means Right? For nitrogen, a really good way to is using some powdered stuff. Alfalfa meal, peanut meal, fish meal, all of that stuff you can add. But the way to have it so that it rots and gives the benefit is by getting it under the soil so that it can get moist and start to rot. And what I have in this bucket is called Never Sink Blend. You can get it from Seven Springs farm supply uh, just give them a call and ask for it so all I do is I make a trench right this way I get it down to the roots okay and this is just the zipper uh, never sink tools or Johnny's doesn't matter which and uh, all it does is open a trench, close a trench. So you can use it for peas. If you don't have a cedar, you can use it for carrots or radish, closing paper pots, uh, garlic, you name it. But it also is great for just, right? So if you missed it, do it again, right? But you can do the whole row at one time, right? And then you just, uh, putting it in and then you just zip it back up and then it will rot in the ground providing nutrients to the tomatoes for the whole season works really really well the third method is doing it through your drip and uh, I think the only organic liquid is going to be fish emulsion uh, there may be some others that's made from like molasses and stuff but that's the most common is the fish. And you just do that through a fertigation. It's just gonna dilute the solution and then suck it up and then put it through the, uh, the drip tape. 
You just want to make sure you have stuff that's, you know, rated for drip tape that's not going to clog it all up. But that's another great way of delivering uh, nitrogen throughout the season. Anyway, so I hope this was helpful and until uh, next time. See you later.